Hello, loved ones. Thank you for joining me today. And if you're new to the channel, then welcome to the family. Today, I will be reviewing Married at First Sight Season 15, Episode 10, After Party. Because some of the celebrations went better than others, they called this episode and the signature drink Muddy Month Anniversaries. They discussed Ben and Morgan's rocky anniversary, Kristen's outburst at the group dinner, and why Alexis got so upset with Justin. Please subscribe so that you can be part of the congregation and please comment so that you can be part of the conversation. And with that, let's get started. Welcome to Fuel by Intentions, where we talk about faith, family, finances, fitness, and fun. Sponsored by Bynum's Business Solutions, where the right fit is made simple. We specialize in tips, tools, and strategies designed to help you achieve your financial health so that you can take control of how you spend your money so that you can spend more time with your family, friends, and doing the things you love. So let's jump right into the video. The show was hosted, of course, by the beautiful Keisha Knight Pullman. Her guests were Mitch, Alexis, and special guest Sarah Colonna, co-host of Are You My Podcast. Keisha gets right into her first question, and she asks Sarah, how does it feel watching the show with the cast sitting right beside her? And who has she talked crazy about on her podcast? Sarah says she sweats a little bit, especially because she does a podcast about the show and sometimes fans can get riled up. She says she has had criticism about Mitch, but he is growing on her and taking a turn and she likes that he is now self-aware. It's a roller coaster. He should then ask Mitch and Alexis, can they believe that they've been married a month? Alexis says yes. Mitch says it feels like it's been longer than a month. It seems like each week is a month and he does not mean that in a bad way. Mitch is there again with his toes out with some cute little sandals on. And of course, Keisha makes a note of it. We then move on to our first clip and it is Morgan telling her friend that Ben never stopped going to Justin with their issues. Alexis says she will not tell us particulars because she wants to protect her friendship. She says there are things that you tell your husband that you think will stay between the two of you. There, there was ethical and moral dilemmas where she felt she needed to tell Morgan. She wishes she would have told Morgan in a different way and encouraged her to talk to Ben. I think Alexis betrayed her husband he felt free to talk without reservations on speakerphone, and also he possibly could have shared things with Alexis, and she betrayed his trust by going and sharing that with Morgan. Sarah says it's hard to watch as a viewer because Morgan shut Ben out and is mad at him for not coming to her. She is not sure if Ben really knew what to do. Keisha says Morgan is mad that Ben is talking to someone about their marriage. Who is Ben supposed to talk to? Alexis believes that Ben can talk to anyone outside of the cast, but if you talk to the cast one way or another, it's going to show its ugly head. If it wasn't for Alexis being messy, this would not happen. I don't buy it. I think Morgan would be upset either way. If he talks to someone who does not know her, then they will judge her much strongly. I think it's better to talk to someone who she does know because then they know all sides of her and they can kind of gauge if he's being honest or truthful or not. We then move on to our next clip and it is Kristen telling her friend that Mitch thinks that flipping homes is a negative connotation and success is the enemy of the environment. She felt like Mitch was not supportive of her dreams and he wanted her to rethink what she wanted to do with her life. Seeing this gives Mitch an additional perspective of how his behavior can affect her and others. He is cognizant that this is a two month experiment and they need to put it all out on the table. He is being more extra and is regretting it, some of it now. Mitch feels bad that Kristen thinks that he is unsupportive of her dreams but ask us not to count him out because they are learning how to communicate with each other. 
Sarah says she can see them working out. It's important to be supportive of one another's dreams. So it's a lesson learned. Mitch admits that it seems like he is on his high horse, but that's because his communication is not perfect and he has little relationship experience. Mitch realizes that he can compromise more and refers back to Shirtgate 2022. They then give us a flashback. He says it was not worth it. And next time he will just wear the shirt or he will say that he is cold and put on his sweatshirt. Saying he's cold and putting on his sweatshirt is still a form of manipulation where you still are not compromising and you're just taking a passive route in order to get your way. So I'm not sure if he's learning anything from that. We then move on to our next clip and it's Morgan talking down to Ben saying he lied to her face multiple times and any ounce of respect she had for him is gone. Ben is looking so confused. Alexa says knowing she contributed to this in any way is breaking her heart. She says she let a lot of people down. She says that she could say that she should have minded her own business, but she saw the pain in Morgan's eyes and saw the frustration. She saw her friend hurting and she wanted to make her hurt less in that moment. Alexa says she was wrong. Let's break this down because the math is not mathing. Alexa says that Morgan was in pain and hurting and she wanted her friend to hurt less. So in order to make her friend hurt less, she told her that her husband was talking about her behind her back. Alexa says she was wrong, which contradicts what she said earlier. Earlier, she said that she thought it was an ethical and moral dilemma. And I think if you really believe that it's an ethical and moral dilemma, that you're not going to regret that and you're not going to think that you're wrong. So again, I believe that Alexis was just being messy and getting in someone else's business. And honestly, I believe she did that towards Justin because she knows that was going to break the trust that Justin and Ben had with one another. So I think that she hurt Morgan. She hurt Morgan in the process, but her target was Justin. So I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comments. Keisha asked Sarah, what did she think about Morgan when she threw the flowers down? Sarah said she thought it was over the top. If Ben had been talking to someone, using them as a sounding board, even though they agreed not to, she does not think that that makes Ben a bad person. The way she was tearing him down in that moment appears that it was about something else and not what she said it was in the moment. We then move on to our next clip. And it was Alexis telling Justin that they have time to turn their marriage around. She says they need to focus on the good things. Alexa says she tries to be hopeful. However, she has lost some of her hopefulness during this experiment. She is trying to rebuild trust since the dog incident. She says love is easy for her to come by, but when she begins to have feelings of malice, she has a hard time letting that go. Alexa says that they do sleep in the same bed. Justin makes her breakfast every morning and she takes him out on dates all the time. Sarah then asks if they are still celibate. Alexis says they are still celibate. They have tried with no success. There has been a lot of talk on the town about this issue. However, I want to take us back to the bachelorette party. During the bachelorette party, they had this weird conversation about circumcision. And on the show, they showed Alexis reaction to how she would feel if her husband was not circumcised and personally i think it relates to that particular conversation so let's just keep watching and keep that in mind keisha then asked mitch what does he think about justin as a husband right now and mitch says he thinks justin is doing the best that he can we then move on to our next clip and it was Kristen saying that she wants to be herself and she is going to snap. Mitch says he is supportive of everything Kristen said at the group dinner, 
her criticism of him not knowing what he was getting into and not being ready for marriage is fair after a month he says Kristen is coming into her own and wants to be her true self 100% of the time and Mitch says he needs to be cool with that Mitch does not want Kristen to be walking on eggshells around him he wants her to be himself he says he is coming off very critical, but he is more critical of himself. He was proud of what she said and wanted to be supportive, not be defensive, and make it about him. It was new information for him, but he sees it as a good thing because the power dynamics were not in balance and now it's leveling out. Sarah says that Mitch is ready to be a husband and he is in the adjustment process. He seems to be supportive of Kristen and admitting to the things that she is saying. She can see them working out and she did not start out that way. Keisha asks if they have fun, easy dinners off camera and Alexis says they do. Some of them hang out together. Some of them go to the jacuzzi together or they eat or have wine night at a restaurant that is attached to their apartment. She says they genuinely like each other and they check on each other often. We then move to our last clip. And it's Alexis telling Justin he is like Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And when he comes back to apologize and says that she was right, it still hurts. Alexis says she based that on past moments where she has gotten her feelings hurt. Justin in the past will have outbursts where he says things that are off the hinge and she is the one that gets her feelings hurt. She admits that the hard exterior is a cover-up for her sensitivity. She says she tries to be strong because one of them has to be, and they both can't be crying. Now, I think that was another dig on Justin. How you speak to and about your husband is a great indication of if you're going to make it or not. So the jury is still out on this couple. Alexis says she was bothered because Justin noticed a change in Mitch but he was not changing himself. She says when she is vulnerable and speaking her truth, she has gotten her feelings hurt and she then goes back to what she's used to, which is not healthy at all. Mitch says that everyone was uncomfortable watching this unfold and he thought that Alexis did not want to deal with it in a group dinner. Sarah says from a viewer's perspective, when Justin is asking what's wrong, what's wrong, it's because he thinks Alexis is about to bolt. He is acting out of fear because he really cares for Alexis. Alexis says on the party bus home, Justin sat in the front with the driver while everyone else sat in the back. She says it was very awkward. Alexis says that she does think they can make it past decision day. She says it may look like she is mentally drained, but she always comes back. Well, what did you think about this episode? Do you think that Alexis was really sorry for telling Morgan that Ben still talks to Justin? Do you think Alexis and Justin will make it past decision day? What about Mitch and Kristen? Can Mitch support Kristen's dreams on flipping houses? Let me know what you think by sounding out in the comments. They then give us a look at next week. Miguel and Lindy take a dance lesson. Kristen and Mitch play baseball. Alexis and Justin shoot hoops. We find out that Stasia was a hustler. Kristen thinks Mitch is the best. Nate confronts Morgan about her hostility and Kristen does not want to make Mitch happy anymore. Looks like another jam-packed episode. Be sure to watch season 15, episode 10 show review next. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, live with intention. Be intentional.